This week, Supreme has finally decided to answer the prayers of 15 to 24 year old male youths. You guessed it. It's Tea Week. I feel like I'm chosen. I'm covered in gold. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest. This week, I'm going to talk about the drop list for Supreme's Week 7. And guess what? It's Fall Tea Week. But it's life I cannot change. You know I'm always excited for teas, and I know that you are as well. The Supreme community, Drops by Jay, and the Twitter universe in general has supplied us with plenty of images and actually retails for these items pretty early. I was gonna do a little bit of a, here's a little leak of these t-shirts video, but shit, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you the whole darn thing. That's what Oscar said. Before I get started though, I ran a fishbowl giveaway a few weeks back. Throaty McPokester, who was the winner, he's never claimed his prize. So I'm literally going to give that fool one more week to claim his prize. If he hasn't, claimed the fishbowl by next week's review video i'm gonna run the giveaway again i don't know what happened to throaty the guy was in the comments like all the time i hope he's okay i hope he didn't find like the edge of the flat earth and fall off that would just be horrible especially when you just want a fishbowl maybe he just doesn't want the fishbowl either way if i don't hear from him in a week that fool is gonna lose a fishbowl so throaty mcpokester if you're out there and you want the damn fishbowl you better let me know right away so basically, if I don't hear from Throaty in a week, I'm rerunning the draw. That means that if you still want a chance to get into this draw, if he never talks to me, just watch this video, comment on the video, I want the fishbowl, subscribe to the channel, and then you'll be able to win that fishbowl. You know, it's been almost a month here, and I just want to give a fishbowl to somebody. Maybe it's gonna be you. Yeah, boy. All right, let's jump into this list. I'm gonna do my top five list, and then I'm gonna go through some honorable mentions that I think have some potential. Okay. All right, so for my number five item, I'm gonna be a little selfish here, just because I think this is a really cool item. I'm going to go with the Quit Your Job Quilted Jacket. I really would like to get one of these for myself. That's that's why I put it at number five. I just think it's a really cool item. I probably won't. 268 is maybe a little bit higher than I want to spend on a jacket. I do think it's a really cool piece. I do think it will probably sell out pretty quickly. So in the bigger sizes, I bet it will do really well. For my number four item, I'm gonna go with that Gon's name tag beanie. I really think it's a very nice beanie. I, I don't want you to just go and buy this by itself. And to be honest, I could throw the other beanie, the two hats, and that pin into this category, which which would kind of be a free shipping category maybe not so much with the pin but you just throw the pin in with anything if you want one but of all of those items i think the gons name tag beanie is one that has the best potential to make a little bit of money down the road it's definitely one of the more original beanies that have come out from supreme over the past few seasons and obviously it goes with the gons shirt that came out a few weeks back which did really well it sold out pretty quickly all right now for number three i'm gonna go with the celtic not reversible hooded fleece that's a long name yes i do think this is a really good item the fleeces from supreme do really well i would recommend the maroon and gray one or the pink and green one i think those are the two to kind of go after in this particular set of fleeces i kind of feel like these fell out of favor because these were a lookbook favorite item for the most part from a lot of people and it looks like it's fallen pretty hard in the supreme community anyways but generally fleeces do pretty well they are generally a hold item but since we're coming up on winter these have the potential to flip a little bit quicker than some of the other ones but again i would focus on that maroon gray one or that watermelon deal most likely would be the best two of the bunch all right here we go at number two an item that we have talked about at least two or three times because they faked us out a few times that's right we're finally gonna get the monogram double knee denim painter pants who's excited <laughs> That guy was definitely excited about these pants. Honestly, of all the items, I think these pants, the blue, the black, have the best potential of flipping for a decent amount of money on day one. And like I said, if you go after those, I would go after the blue or the black, and the larger the size, the better. But they'll probably sell out, so all the sizes should be okay for those. And so, of course, my number one items of the week are gonna be these t-shirts. That's right, folks, we are getting eight, count them, eight different t-shirts shirts and they're probably going to come in something like six or seven different colorways each so we are going to be inundated with all kinds of t-shirts 
personally, I love it. Give me all the t-shirts that you have. I love the Supreme Tees. I obviously wear them all the time. But if we're talking about resale, the more shirts that are out there, the worse the resale is going to be. So the more colorways that they make in these shirts, the less demand there's going to be, even for the good colors. I mean, if you had the ability to just run the table and get everything in a black XL, you're probably going to end up doing pretty good over time. However, there's a few of these shirts that I would just completely avoid altogether. The monster tee is literally just text on a t-shirt. The sticker tee might have been cool, but nobody can see it. I have no idea what the face tee is trying to do. Maybe it's like a pumpkin. I don't know. I would skip this one as well. The connected tee might look nice with a black shirt and white text. So that one in XL black probably would be a nice tee. I'm definitely interested in this support unit tee because it has a tag in the front and the back. This one's going to be a little more expensive at 48 I think. And I do think this tee with DMX on it, this America Eats Its Young tee, is going to sell out very quickly. I think that this tee has the potential to be the best seller over time. I do like these other two tees as well, this rocker tee and the crash tee. I think both of these tees are extremely wearable and I think that they are ones that people are going to just buy and put on immediately. So I do see these having some value down the road as well. I think if you're going to want to make any money on any of these, you're going to probably have to go with XL Black or if there's some just standout colorway after we see all of them. That being said, I don't think there's as much profit to be made on these t-shirts as there used to be. The issue with these tees, because they're making so many colors, because there's going to be so many out there on the market, you're going to have to hold these for a little while in order for the good colorways to sort of become more expensive. All right, there you go. That is the list for week seven. And like I said, I don't see as much profit in the t-shirts as I have in the past, but because of the price point and because there always is profit in the t-shirts, that's why they're my number one item. I mean, you just really can't go wrong with some of the better shirts. All right, I do have two honorable mentions this week. The first one I want to look at is this two-toned hooded sweater. I kind of think this thing looks really nice. I don't like the colorways that they decided to go with. Maybe the pink purple one has something. I, I don't know. It's just not a good combination of colors. If you look close on them, they look really nice. They look like very high quality, handmade kind of things. The black one might be something to look at, and it looks like the price point on these are going to be like one. 78 so it should be a really really high quality hoodie for like ten dollars more than a regular hoodie but if these are really high quality and handmade like they look like i think they will have the ability to do very well on the aftermarket and the final piece i want to talk about today is this i'm sorry i'm gonna butcher his name the tadanori yoku soccer jersey uh, he's basically a famous graphic artist from japan he has like an andy warhol salvador dolly kind of feel to him and i just think that these jerseys are really cool i like the one that has more of the craziness going on on it for sure i do think the supreme soccer jerseys are usually pretty high quality and they're nice jerseys this is a polo soccer jersey so you get the little collar with it and everything so lucky you like anything else that i've ever talked about if you were to go for these i would go xls they'll probably sell out pretty quickly as well. All right, folks, that is what I think for week seven. Let me know below what you guys are going after, what you think the best items of the week are. Did I leave something off of the list that you're very upset about? Let me know. Anyways, guys, I hope that you are able to cop everything and anything that your little heart desires on Thursday. Good luck to the, all of you, and I will see you next video. Evidently the coach can't bench me The franchise player I don't know how to miss And they can't buy a layup I'm anti with they are 